Hey, welcome back guys. Drew here. Beer for breakfast. Facts for snacks. Uh, a little while to upload a video. I had to uh, come home and uh, take Ella home. She was here for five days or something like that. So that was awesome. I always love having her here. And then I uh, came back um, uh, and I needed a six pack. So we went to Food Basics to grab some fries and stuff for dinner. And, and then I saw this. A six pack of this for twelve seventy uh, here, so six tall cans for twelve seventy. And I said, you know what? I need to do a review on that. Nice and cold from uh, Food Basics up here in Canada. Uh, for you people in the states that don't know groceries here, grocery stores here. But I'm doing Labatt Blue, guys. Uh, quality brewing since eighteen forty seven. Labatt Blue up here, five percent alcohol. This is a four hundred seventy three mil can. Um, and of course I'm on untapped and I gotta stop being on untapped for this, but it's uh, and it, it's just stupid. Five percent. Everyone knows Labatt Blue is five percent alcohol. Untapped four point seven. Doesn't don't understand untapped at all for this. It's dumb. Twelve IBU. Don't believe it. Two point nine one. I believe that. I don't definitely believe that with hundred and seventeen thousand. Plus ratings. I believe the 2.91 because they're horrible on macro beers. It sucks. They don't give nothing like this a chance. Um, little description here. Labatt Blue is the best selling Canadian beer in the world. Uh, introduced in 1951 as Labatt Pilsner. Uh, it was named for color. It was named for the color of the label by fans of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Uh, actually, uh, Brian the Beer Snob and I were just talking about CFL on our collab. You can check that out on his channel, Brian the Beer Snob. Um, uh, Winnipeg Blue Bombers football team. Blue was the first brand in Canada to twist, uh, to with a twist-off cap, and won the silver medal on in the international lager category in the 1998 Brewing Industry International Awards. Labatt Blue, brewed using specially selected aromatic, uh, aromatic hops, is a well-balanced, full-matured, full-flavored beer with a fruity character and a slightly sweet aftertaste. This is not going to be like that uh, 8.6 red I had yesterday. I believe that's when I had that yesterday. Uh, I'm going to go check out one more site here, guys, because you know what? Nothing wrong with uh, Labatt Blue. A lot of people hate it now. It used to be the expensive beer up here now. Uh, it used to be years ago, I mean. Now, this is the cheap brand here in Ontario. Labatt Blue. Labatt Blue, Labatt.com. It's going to ask me for my name. No. It's the same thing here. But this is weird. Okay. All right. So I get it now. All right. So. It says Pilsner style lager, 5% alcohol volume, 4.9 ABV for blue, B L U no B L E U E in Quebec. Uh, so it's uh, less percent in Quebec. Weird. I don't understand. Um, but anyways, uh, the beer store, and then we'll get into it, guys, because I need a beer. I haven't had one yet, so beer, beer, beer. Blue is refreshing Pilsner lager brewed using John Labatt's founding physiology that is that a quality beer should have a real, authentic taste. Blue is made with the finest hops in Canadian barley malt. 5%. They got that right. Let's go with, see, 40, okay, 28, 24 bottles is 38, 50 cans. Um... I picked up a six pack of cans. It's twelve seventy. Um, it looks twelve seventy or eleven ninety five for the three hundred fifty five mil. Better deal here. Um, that's about it, guys. Uh, they they come in big seven hundred forty mil uh, cans too. Once in a while, I do get a blue here and there. Uh, it's not my favorite, but uh, you know, nice color. Get a little bit of head going on there. There it is, guys. There. A little bit of upside down snowfall. 
The head that, yeah, is so-so. Oh, I know what that mark is. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of apple. And that's about it. Everything good? Yeah. That's about it. This is this is your macro lager like type thing, and I believe they now brew this with corn. They're not going to tell me this, but I believe they went cheap with this, and that's why it's a cheaper brand. I believe they changed it. All right, guys, let's let's get a taste of this. Labatt Blue, guys. Labatt Blue. Try something different. It's not usually my favorite brand to go buy, but you do need a Pilsner once in a while. Definitely nothing offensive about that at all. Uh, Labatt Blue. Quality since Labatt Blue, yeah. Um, it's smooth. It's not over heavily. 5% is perfect. This is a big seller here in uh, in Ontario, in Canada. Uh, my buddy Cody says he, when he's down in the States, uh, these things are flying off the shelves down there. Everyone's buying Labatt Blue down in the States. Um, He's told me that quite often. I get a little bit of apple, no grapefruit at all, no hoppiness, uh, a little bit of malt in there. No aftertaste, like Canadian. I find most in Canadian, I'm a huge fan of most in Canadian, has an aftertaste. No aftertaste in this at all. Uh, but, let's give her a, let's give her a, I, in a hot summer day, we get a ton of humidity up here, and I'm I'm telling you right now, this would be perfect beer on the deck. Uh, sweating, you just drink a couple of these. They, they slide right down. I'm telling you, this is let's try something different. Try Labatt Blue, guys. Try Labatt Blue. Uh, rating seven 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 seven. It's perfect. It's perfect. Thogger, these need to be. Uh, uh, you know, I haven't done a, a a craft beer. Maybe I'll do a craft beer later. I have so many in the fridge. Maybe I'll do a craft beer, light craft beer later on. But right now, 7-7, seven, seven, guys. Try something different. Try the Labatt Blue. If, and I know you guys in the States can get this. I've seen on Louisiana Beer Review. Uh, I've seen him do Labatt Blue before. Um, I know you can get it. I know you can get Labatt Blue down there. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. I'll be back uh, with one more beer review later on. All right. Have a great one. Cooking up some fish for dinner. Cheers.